All right, guys, thanks for checking out another video. This one is session number four of our 30 minute heavy bag workout series. Now again, this is more of a technical workout. You're gonna get some good cues in there. I'm gonna voice you over. So what I'm gonna do is throw on your boxing gloves, get into a heavy bag. You need both those things. Obviously wrap your hands up. I'm gonna voice it over, give you cues all the way through the session. So essentially you can just listen and shred. All right, I'm gonna push you all the way through like I do for most of my workouts to give you guys some killer combos, some drills. And again, just a good overall heavy bag workout experience for 30 minutes. We're gonna do about eight rounds. All right guys, get these gloves on, get near that heavy bag, wrap your hands up, and uh, let's have some fun. Remember, sub it. Make sure you get that, this bad boy shared all around. Tell your friends, tell your people to get out there and try these heavy bag workouts. They'll absolutely love them. And of course, if there's anything you guys wanna see, let me know and I'll try my best to get it done. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the workout. All right, you hear the intro, you heard the intro, you're ready to go, your gloves are on, you're set. The first thing we're gonna do is your warm up. So let's get into it. And we here we have all punches moving in and out. You know, all punches, you're basically trying to move into that heavy bag, moving in, moving out, having some fun for session number four of your 30 minute heavy bag workouts. Hope you guys have been having a good time up to this point. Three sessions down, we're working session number four. And right now, again, just think about moving inside and out. So for your warm up, it's a little more footwork. You're finding your range. You know, you're just getting ready to, to blast this session. But first, you want to get your footwork set up. You want to get your body right. Shoulders are relaxed, right? Little pivots, little movement patterns, whatever you got to do to get ready for this upcoming session. Now, and now that we're in session number four, I want you to think about you are essentially the boss. So you've been crushing it up to this point. You know what you're doing. You know, you're really feeling it. You're having some fun with the heavy bag. And every time you're going through this, you know, you are the champion. You're the guy who is, you know, everybody's coming to the gym, to the gym or to the fight to watch, all right? So again, a little more play, a little more playing around, a little more fun, and uh, of course, lots of technique, and uh, just have fun with it, okay? You can work with your hands up, you can work that left hand dragging out, or that forward hand being a little further in front. You know, moving to the left, moving to the right, inside, outside. That's kind of the idea of the warm up. Developing power on that back foot. Spinning off, throwing combos on the other side. Obviously, some head movement. Like I said, you're the champ, you're the boss. Get ready to go to work. You may notice that my tempo here, it's, you know, it's not fast, I'm warming up, right? So right now you're warming up, you're not going crazy, you know, if you're hyped up and you wanted to get a, little, a few power punches in there, do your thing, that's why we're here, this is you, this is all you. This has nothing to do with me at this point in session number four, this is all you. I'm just giving you the blueprints, you're building it how you want, alright? Think about it like that. Just a few seconds left in your warm up round number one. And then we're gonna work drills with this one for your warm up. Just another five seconds or so, they're gonna hook up your drills right here for round number one. All right, guys, for this one, you're gonna jab, step into your left and right. So I want you to jab six shots while stepping to your left, and then pause and jab six times, stepping to your right and just do that non-stop with slight pauses in between each six repetitions, all right? Six jabs, stepping to the left, six jabs, stepping to the right. Again, when you're stepping to the left, you're pushing off the right foot. When you're stepping to the right, you're pushing off your left foot. So right here, I'm pushing off my right foot, moving to my left, hands are staying up, and then I'm moving to my right, I'm pushing off my left foot. Work this drill, keep the hands up, 
Stay strong in your legs, relaxed but firm in your hands. Think about your hands closing just before impact on that jab hand. Keep that right hand nice and high, left hand through self paw, and have some fun with it. Keep working guys. Again, you know, it's nice to kind of go through these drills and I say it often is just get back to the basics. This is very much basics, but you know, even seasoned fighters or seasoned veterans, you know, it's just nice to get in there and feel the fluidity of your jab again in a drill, in, you know, in a drill format. Because no matter what, when you're working on certain combos, you forget, you know, you kind of forget the ones that you've been working on before. All right, guys, round number two. We're working all speed, all punches. Let those hands fly, all right? You are the champ, so I want those hands to move fast. You are the boss. Fast hands. I want strong footwork, so stay nice and compact. Make sure your balance is good, and then let those hands go. Small movements. Speed. Some defense is in there, obviously. But you are the boss. You are the champ. Your hands are too fast. You shouldn't be able to predict what's coming out. That's how fast your hands are. Now get Go into work. Come on, show me, champ. Now, again, don't forget to use your legs, nice strong legs, in your position here. Multiple combinations from multiple angles, multiple levels. If you show me two of the same combinations in a row, the first one is faster than the second one, or the second one is faster than the first one, so change up your tempos. The variety is always good. Fast hands is even better, so keep going to work, guys. Come on. Fast jab, different levels, up shoots. Pick me apart with that fast jab. Punish me with that fast uppercut. Once again, show me who the boss is. My hands are not as fast as yours. Show me. Almost there guys, so again, your hands are still fast, you're still moving well, you're good. There's lots of energy left in the tank. You're having fun right now, you're having so much fun. Letting those hands go, show me your speed. All right, nicely done. Let's move right into your drills for round number two. In this one, we're working same side combos. We're gonna work a, a jab, and then a hook, and then a four, and then a six. So it's a one, a three, four, six, around every three seconds. So throw a jab, a hook to the body or head and then switch to the right side and throw a right hook or a four and then a right uppercut which is a six the four can be to the head or to the body so we're working two punches on the same side and then a brief pause so one three and then a four six strong technique boom boom and then a little pause 
one, three, and then a four, six. Little pause, remember these are drills. Make sure you're looking at your target. Make sure you're confident in your uppercut. You're driving through that back leg to put the uppercut through the target. Extend right through, guys. Keep working that. A one, three, four, six, slight pause, and then continue to work. Now again, what I'm doing is I'm, you know, I'm just stepping side to side. I'm not going in and out too much. You can, you can definitely do some, you know, throw one twos in and out in between combos if you want. Of course, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You know, it's just a short kind of easy drill to get used to throwing those same side punches. But again, if you want to throw a combination in between each of those two punches, then all good. Do your thing. You know, this is more just about gaining a little bit of control and, you know, keeping you moving for a little bit longer. Um, you know, throughout the workout, but nothing crazy. All right, guys, round number three, we're moving. I love these long range uppercuts. We're gonna hook up some of these bad boys. And we do that to set up body attack. So I want you to lift up my chin, put make me put my hands up or make openings and then attack the body. So long range uppercut and then attack the body. So I'm on the outside, just kind of opening up a little bit with my uppercut, you know, to see that punch coming. So if, you know, if a guy's coming in on me and he's leaning forward a little bit, I can land that long range uppercut and then attack the body if I make contact. Again, it's also a great way to learn balance because you have to be really secure in your feet and your balance in your stance to throw that long range uppercut and maintain position to hit the body. So it's a great way to learn distance, it's a great way to balance, and it's also a little bit unique in that you can really attack the body with some good solid landing long range uppercuts, all right? MMA guys, learn to rip that lead uppercut. Guys are always coming in to grab you you can see Conor McGregor is really good at that. That long range left uppercut or that long range front uppercut. He's good at that. He landed that on Mayweather a couple times. So get used to it. Learn it. Utilize it. Own it. Again, keep working on that uppercut, changing directions a little bit. You can pivot off the uppercut. You can, you know, turn to the inside, change the angle, throw it from distance, throw a hook, spin off that hook, throw a combination off of that. So again, you know, overhand right there off that uppercut. Change your position, change your angles, land it, and attack the body. Again, different tempos. When you hit the body, it's bad intentions. Inside spin-offs, and then back to work on the outside. And just like that, we're almost there, guys. We're almost through this round. Nicely done, All right. Round number four, keep going, champ. Keep working harder. Keep working hard, I right? Just keep pushing. And this one, I want you to work your way in and then simply work your way out. So you can work your way in with a double jab, you can work your way in with, uh, with a lead left hook, a lead right hand. It can be a triple jab, right? You can throw a body, a, a head shot, body shot to work your way in. And then when you work your way out after ripping your combos, again, it can be a double jab, it can be a hook, 
It could be a combination of all those together. All right, in and out footwork. And then work inside and then work your way out. When you're inside, duck under some punches, counter those and work your way out. Head movement, of course, dipping. See so there, I lead, I lead with the left hook, right? You can do that, sure you can. Just don't get caught with that lead uppercut coming in. Be strategic, change up your combos. Make sure you're not showing me the same looks all the time. See there, I slip twice to walk in, so you can walk it down. You slip through, imagine someone's throwing a one-two repeatedly, and you wanna slip inside that jab, then slip inside that cross, and you counter. Work your way in, work your way out. Keep working. Now there when I came in my hand, my left hand was down way too low. That opens me up to a lot of counter punches. I can't even tell you how many, but a lot. So when I'm walking in like that, again, if you're not throwing in that lead, you know, that left hand, that forward hand is down like that, it's dangerous, so don't do that. Sometimes you have to see it to know you're doing it. Everybody understand what that's like for boxing. Sometimes we don't know we have these habits until we see it on camera, right? Until you see or someone's telling you. Work in, pop, 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 work out, pop, 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 work in, pop, pop, pop. Could be like that too, where you're basically just doing the machine gun in and out. Change it up. Always change the angles and don't take more than one step back. If you do, pivot. You got this, champ. Come on. You're rolling. Stay focused right to the end of the rounds. All right, let's go. Let's do some drills for round number four. Now all I want you to do is throw a cross and then block left right after. So you're gonna throw that right hand and then block left right after. Right hand, block left right after that. You got it? You focused on that, so it's a cross. So a southpaw left hand and then block right. For orthodox, cross, right hand and then block left and then we'll add on to that. All right, let's go. Right hand, block left. You can move around, or you can stay in the pocket. You decide, either way. Throw the cross. Block the cross. Throw the cross, block the cross. Or the hook, or that right hook. Cross can be to the body or to the head. Remember, you can pick and choose, it's up to you. This is all about you, right? Now throw that right hand right after that. Two block two. I want technique though. I want that right hand nice and straight. Straight down the pipe, turn the shoulder over a little bit. A little rotation from that back hip. In down, hands up. Block the body and the head. Almost there for your drills in round number four. You're starting to feel confident, you're starting to move better, and you're having a lot of fun. Round number five, we're gonna freestyle now you're gonna do is do lateral movement. So when you throw your combos, move left or move right. That's it. 
whatever you want, inside, outside, power, speed. Work this one all the way through with some lateral movements. Just go for it. Think about your drills when you're moving to the left throwing jabs, when you're moving to the right throwing jabs. Laterally, push off the outside foot. And have some fun. Rip those combos. Show me different looks. You have a fighter coming at you all the time. What do you do? You gotta step to the side, change the angle, and then counter because they keep coming straight forward. So you're forced to change the angle. It could be slight. But you have to break that straight line. And that fighter's coming forward in a little lateral movement, or a little lateral sidestep, or a little pivot. With strong balance, can break that straight forward line. So think about that. Keep them off with a jab, throw some uppercuts, overhands, make them think twice about coming straight down. Lateral work, come on. Keep moving. When they think you're going easy, that's when you go hard. When they give you an opportunity to rest, that's when you go harder. Because there is no opportunities to rest. Unless you earn them yourself. If you earn them yourself, that's when you rest. If your opponent gives you an opportunity to rest, that's when you take advantage of the fact that they're tired. So there are very few opportunities to rest. Instead, you take advantage of those slow down opportunities by letting your hands go, changing the direction. There you go, different looks, different movement patterns. Strong shots. Head movement, double up the right hand, double up the left hook, triple up the left hook. Left to right, right to left. Fake left, go right. Almost there guys, almost there. All right, so here's your drills for round number five. With this one, I want you to jab and then throw a left hook and then parry a jab or a cross coming back at you and then throw a hook to the body. So it's a one, three, parry, and then counter by throwing a left hook to the body. Again, that's opposite of your southpaw. So it's a one, three, parry. Imagine that punch is coming straight at you and then hook to the body. So counter punch with a hook to the body. So boom. Boom, parry, body shot. There you go. And stay in the pocket for a little bit first so you find that distance so you can comfortably throw that body shot and make contact. Stay in the pocket. Find your range that when you block that or when you parry that punch coming in, you can fire that body shot really fast. I find that range. You're not stepping on the hook to the body, you're staying controlled in the pocket or on the outside, sorry, and ripping that body shot. And if you want, you can rip a right hand on top of that. Work those drills. Everything's controlled, precise. going guys we're almost there for your drills keep that shoulder blade on that hook side 
nice and strong when you're throwing a hook to the body and hook to the head and dig into the heavy bag, right? Make sure you're digging into the heavy bag. You're not just hitting it, you're digging in. All right guys, round number six, we're getting there, one left after this one, is freestyle inside. And what you're doing is you're gonna push off the heavy bag, so as if your opponent is trying to smother you and you're trying to push them away from you, then let your shots go. And then obviously inside turn. So when you're turning on the inside, think about your shoulder you're staying connected with your shoulders so that you can continuously throw punches so you're continuously in range when you turn off. So push off, combos, turns, combos, freestyle, inside, go for it. Hands up. Again, your opponent's holding you or you're holding them. You'll be able to feel where their body is going. Either is their body leaning forward? You know, are you able to break their body down, pull their body down a little bit? You know, are they unsteady on their front foot? You'll be able to feel that when you're in the middle of the ring or you're grabbing on each other. You'll feel it. You'll feel who the stronger fighter is. And then you turn them how you want and then throw combinations based on how you turn, what angle you're in. Small turns, push off, let those hands go. Have fun with it. Remember, you're the champ. You're the boss. So fight like a boss on the inside. The other rounds don't matter at this point. What if this was the last round? What would you do? Would you let somebody push you off? Would you let somebody turn you around and counter punch you? Or would you work to win that last round? Right? You would work. I'm telling you to work. So when you're inside, again, change the angle. Turn your opponent and let your hands go. Come on. Balance. Power, speed, confidence, endurance, variety, twenty seconds. Come on, champ, get those hands moving. Get in there. Push off, change those angles and set them up how you want to set them up. This is not a game. It's not a game. Come on, get in there. Turn it off. Two, one. Beautiful. All right, guys, final round. All you're doing here is I want you to work the whole thing. I'm not going to voice this. I'm basically just going to shut up for the next round. Just work all speed. Like I said, you're the boss. You're the champ. All you need to do is let your hands go fast and have fun with the final round. All right? Hand speed. Final round. Speed. Let's go.
just a few seconds left guys you've done well you had some fun you got through session number four no problem if you haven't seen the other sessions make sure you check out rounds one to three good job guys all right guys, you got through that one. That 30 minutes is now done. So again, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of the video. Again, there's some different stuff in there. Again, this is not highly advanced stuff on the heavy bag. We're still kind of learning basics, still learning some movement patterns. Again, getting you guys fluid on the heavy bag, all that good stuff. And again, have someone coach you through a session. And I know you guys can agree with that, all right? So again, hit the sub button. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you for the next workout. And I have a tons of stuff coming up for you guys very soon, so stay tuned to my channel. And again, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for getting the word out. I love seeing the channel grow. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon, and thanks for watching.